will start by taking in some chilled butter that I have cubed into small pieces. To this let's add in some sugar. Using the paddle attachment of your mixer, beat together the butter and sugar until it is just combined. Meanwhile, add a pinch of salt to your dry flour, mix and set this aside. Once the butter and sugar is combined, scrape the bowl down and add in a tablespoon of water and a dash of vanilla. Once again, beat it until well combined. So the water here acts as a replacement for eggs, which the role of which is just to bind everything together. Finally, add in the dry plain flour in three batches. Mix until combined. Finally add in another tablespoon of water and mix well until everything comes into a dough like consistency. Always remember not to over knead your cookie dough. Just combine it until when you press it together using your hands it sticks together and forms into a dough just like the way you can see it here in the video. Take out the dough onto your countertop and combine it until it comes together. Divide the dough into three equal proportions using a bench scraper. If you want you can also use weighing scale to be accurate. Take one portion of the dough back into your mixing bowl and add in green food coloring and some peppermint extract to go along with it and then beat until the color is all mixed up. Once the color is all mixed in, take out the dough onto a parchment paper and roll it out to give it a rectangle shape. To be precise, I measured it out into a 9 by 12 inch rectangular shape. Once rolled out, transfer the dough onto a baking tray along with the parchment paper and let it sit in the refrigerator until you roll out the second and third portion. I also went ahead and colored our third portion red just like the way we did with our green food coloring. So now we have three colors that is green, white and red. Feels so Christmassy, right? Place another parchment paper on top of it and refrigerate this for 15 minutes. Once refrigerated, just like the way you can see it here in the video, take out the white dough and place it on top of your red. Slowly and gently remove the parchment paper. Similarly, place the green dough uh, on top of the white and remove the parchment paper as well. Now just cut out the corners to make it into even size. And then once it is soft to roll, start rolling it tightly just like the way you can see it here in the video. So depending upon from which side you choose to roll, you will get a bigger or smaller swirled cookie once you cut it. Also make sure to roll it tightly without any air gaps because otherwise you will end up having small holes in the center of your swirl cookies. Cling wrap and again let it sit in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. But before that, here's my tip for you guys with to get the perfect round cookies. That is instead of letting it sit flat on the refrigerator tray, just place it on top of your paper towel. I mean the paper towel roll. So once your paper towel is all finished, just save the last cardboard bit, divide it into two that is cutting it from the center. 
just like the way you can see it here in the video and then adjust it so that the log of cookie dough that you have prepared sits perfectly onto the paper towel roll that way it won't lay flat and you will have an even shaped ground cookies in case you do not have any handy you can also make use of glasses like this that i am showing you For now let this chill in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and then you can cut it into even thickness. Place them in a baking tray that has been lined with parchment paper with little gap in between and then bake it in a preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius for around 13 to 15 minutes until the sides turn little golden brown in color. Let this chill in the pan itself for say around 10 minutes and then transfer it onto a cooling rack to cool completely. Enjoy it with a glass of milk this Christmas Eve and I'm sure everyone would absolutely love the flavor of vanilla and peppermint together and that's how beautifully baked our cookie looks I hope you enjoyed this crispy and crunchy vanilla peppermint swirl cookies if you did then do let me know in the comment section below what are you baking for Christmas I'll see you soon with yet another one until then this is Sushma signing off take care bye bye and yes, of course, do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Spices and Flavors for more such baking and vegetarian related recipes.